It's Retro News Friday and the hit YouTube channel Vsauce3 has a new Back to the Future video that is a must watch for any fan of their show or Back to the Future. Also, a sequel for Hocus Pocus has been announced and there is a reboot of the Christmas classic Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, so don't turn that dial. Uh. <laughs> what up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch, your nostalgia channel where we talk about current news that relates to all things retro. In celebration of Back to the Future's 35th anniversary, the popular YouTube channel Vsauce3 has a Back to the Future episode in their new web series that's called Could You Survive the Movies? If you ever wanted to know if some of those cool scenes in Back to the Future are even possible, you'll find out in that episode. They talk about Marty getting blown away by those speakers at the beginning of the movie when he strums on his guitar. And they talk about how time travel works and even how Doc Brown got electrocuted in the movie. If you like movies and Back to the Future, this is a must watch series. Vsauce and all of their different channels are some of my favorites on YouTube and they are really, really educational. And this one that they did about Back to the Future, it is must watch entertainment. It's been reported that Jim Henson's 1977 Christmas special Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas is actually being remade and that's in the works right now. And I get it guys, There, we all have a lot of reboot fatigue over all of the TV shows and the movies that have been reboot recently, but I have to admit I am oddly intrigued over this reboot. This new version is going to have Brett McKenzie from Flight of the Concords writing the script and the music. And if you don't remember him, he did the Muppets and also the Muppets Most Wanted back in 2014. I can't quite remember when I first watched Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, but I do know that it premiered on HBO in the U.S. in 1978, but I do try to watch it every Christmas. The puppet animation is pretty dated by today's standards, but if you can get past that, it's a pretty decent movie. It's one of those shows that I really enjoy watching during the holidays, but for some weird reason, it reminds me of The Dark Crystal. I think that the river scene in it, um, it seems like that's in both movies. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie, but if you have, let me know what you thought of it and about this reboot news. And if you haven't seen it, it's worth checking out. And then here's an update on the Lizzie McGuire series that's coming out that's about her when she turns 30 years old and she's trying to navigate life in New York City. So according to the Hollywood Reporter, Disney Plus streaming service on Thursday announced that Haley, Todd, Robert Carradine, and Jake Thomas, they're going to be reprising their roles as Joe, Sam, and Matt McGuire in the series. None of Lizzie's friends from the show have been announced yet, but it does look like they're going to be bringing back pretty much the whole family. So that gives me a vote of confidence going forward. And then according to an article on Collider.com, Disney Plus has tapped Jen D'Angelo, who's the writer and co-producer of the show Workaholics. She's going to be writing a script for Hocus Pocus 2. Collider also says that D'Angelo has been tasked with bringing back the original cast of Bette Medler, who played Winifred, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, who was Sarah, and Kathy Najemi, who was Mary. None of them are currently involved in the sequel yet, but the studio is definitely hopeful that they'll be able to bring them back in some capacity. The original Hocus Pocus came out in 1993, and it was pretty popular, and actually is popular as a Halloween movie. So it's going to be real interesting to see if they can bring back the original cast and get them involved. Especially since Bette Miller has been really vocal about not wanting to be a part of this reboot, or a part of a reboot. If it's going to be a sequel, that might be a different story. If you didn't already know that Saved by the Bell is actually a reboot of a show that was called Good Morning Miss Bliss, there's an article that I'll link to down below that explains the story of how Saved by the Bell came about. It's a pretty good read. And then in some gaming news, in 2020 we're going to get to see Doom 64 ported over to PC and a bunch of other gaming platforms. They just put out a trailer for it and it looks pretty cool. And if you do pre-order the Doom Eternal game that's coming out March 2020, you'll get Doom 64 free. And then we put out retro pop culture videos and nostalgia news every week. So check out the next video that is right over there. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.